we all hope that we can achieve a comfortable retirement, doing the things that we like to do. That's very enjoyable. So that will be nice to happen. You can do something that you've been wanting to do. Oh, you, know? uh, you want to spend more time with the children. You want to spend uh, some time to do something meaningful. Uh, some time to pursue your hobby. Uh, but I can say that, like we all know, money is not everything. But to support your retirement lifestyle, especially re a comfortable retirement lifestyle, you would need to make sure that you have enough money to support and to fund your retirement lifestyle. Because uh, if I were to share with you some of the statistics, some of the facts about Malaysian situation, you may not feel that comfortable and may not be confident. Now, let me share with you further. The current reality is, according to EPF, 68%, close to 70% of the EPF members do not achieve, which means their EPF saving do not achieve the basic amount they require. No? Say for example, according to EPF, for them to achieve a basic retirement lifestyle, they should have 240,000 when they are 55 years old. But more than 68% of the EPF member do not have the money. So that is a quite scary situation. And I hope that you do not belong to that category. And another reality is that 50% of the member, EPM member who retire who are above 55 years old, finish their EPF money within how long? Within very short period of time, within five years. So by then, how old are them? By then, they are 60 years old. So then how are they going to retire then? No? How do they going to su survive that? Basically, no, most of the time, they'll be dependent on children. So, uh, of course, if your children can do well, then it's no problem. But uh, I can say, you know, like what we can see so far, uh, the children also is struggling to, uh, to build enough income to support their lifestyle themselves. So, do they really have extra to support you if you do not plan well for yourself? So, uh, this is quite a scary statement. I'm sure you do not want to belong to that 50%. According to the survey done by HSBC Bank, uh, the survey shows that 52% of the people already retired. They thought that when they retire, their expenses were reduced, you know, and uh, because they, they don't go to work, they spend less. You know? But 52% of them discover that there's no reduction. Okay? Uh, in fact, there are 70% of people who discover that the expenses during retirement increases rather than coming down. So if you do not have enough or do not have some allowance or some buffer for your this retirement living expenses, you know, chances are you may be caught in surprise. Okay? And we all know, you know that whatever we put into EPF, whatever we have saved until 55 years old will not be enough to support our retirement lifestyle, especially comfortable retirement lifestyle. But, you know, uh, and then we also know the fact that this uh, EPF has not been giving good return, you know, uh, good dividend, and the dividend also have been dropping for a certain year. You know? But there have been a saying, you know, uh, I don't know if it's a rumor or uh, actual some planning to give a tier to the dividend to the different member. So which means to say, okay, those of you who have got maybe 500,000, 600,000 in your EPF, uh, maybe you'll get less dividend because you are quite okay. Uh, maybe more dividend, uh, maybe 10%, uh, 15% uh, should be given to the low income or low saving EPF member. So in that case, for most of us who are like a, above average kind of EPF saver, chances are whatever not so exciting dividend rate that we are getting now may go further lower because part of this dividend may go to the low income or low, low saving EPF member. So I hope this 
these things does not happen because if we were to happen, then we get to plan uh, even harder to find some extra money to take care of the whatever that we are missing from this dividend. If money is important to you, please remember to subscribe to my channel.